terms of their turn, right? That means they have already presented. But I do want to touch a bit on their roles, okay? Before we move on. Uh, a lot of you are not, I mean, all of you are not still on roles, but it's fine. Sorry, wait. Uh, 
whoever is pretending up here, you must know our uh, last person at the back must hear you. Okay? And come on, I can do it. Why can't you? The ground is made of no build walls. What? What? So before the ground is made of the floor before. Okay, so yeah. cannot hear, is it? Now, what they are saying is low built walls. Meaning to say that they are walls, but they are built very low. So, my question to this group is how low? My waist level, or my knee level, or my ankle level? What's low? Around, knee level. Around your knee level, okay? Walls that are built very low at your knee level, okay? Um, so, it's positioned perpendicular to the sea, um, it's 90 degrees. Yeah, like right angle to the, the beach, yeah, the beach. Okay, positioning right angle. I shouldn't be repeating every time he's saying something up because it's their presentation. The purpose is to prevent long, long, shore, long shore drift from happening. Uh, materials will be trapped on the grinds, at, at the side of the grinds. They cannot see your face by the way. Move in front. You will prepare long sword, but then you cannot prevent your erosion from the burning. Everyone, do you hear that? Sorry, Kingston, can you say properly? One full complete sentence. We can only prevent long sword but then cannot prevent erosion. Why can't it prevent erosion? Because it just prevents materials from being transported away by the long sword <laughs> So you are saying that it cannot protect the beach from destructive waves, is it? Yeah, not. Why, why can't it protect itself from destructive waves? What's the destructive wave coming from? Tell the class, please. Because when the disrupt disruptive wave come from the front, right, um, that's actually perpendicular to the to the sea. So you actually just hit and it will through. The water will still continue to come as a strong wave. So it doesn't really help in reducing the energy of the water. So it will still come out. Do you understand what he's trying to say? Yes. Look at how it's positioned. Don't move yet. You have to answer the last question. It is built for perpendicular such that when the waves are approaching, it doesn't really stop the impact. If I want to stop the impact of disruptive waves, I'll put it like that. What? I'll put it parallel to the coastline so that when the disruptive waves come, immediately it will stop. But I've built it perpendicular, meaning to say, uh, like what this group said, they are not trying to protect it from disruptive waves. They're actually only trying to stop the process of. Long short drift, which is all your sediments moving down, 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 and that's also erosion happening. Now, my question for the group is if I show you now this island, tell me, is it possible that I build points along this coast? The group, tell me your answer and explanation, please. Tell, tell the class, whoever the group, the group. Even if you over there, erosion will still continue to occur, so the thing will just continue to eat in and it will still collapse and it doesn't really help in a sense. Even if you place over there, you will waste money by building the thing. Okay, are coins very expensive? Yes. No. How do you know how much? Yeah, time you show the video. <laughs> what is the amount? <laughs> something, 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 then something. <laughs> yeah, sounds very expensive, but I got three yeah. something. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now, uh, it is true, they are right, because points actually prevent the process of long drift, right? If you look at this island here, they are facing erosion from long shore drift or disruptive waves. That is why points is not going to be a good idea for this, okay? Let's see if other strategies have more hope in helping this island. And I want this group, can you recognize your own strategy? Thank you. What is it? Gabion's group for Gabion, can you come up? Try to stand nearer to the 
into the sea but it's actually on shore on the land okay next or first When you address a big group of people, then how? You want to write to people, they pass the letter. You know, right? Guys, classroom is where you start your public speaking practices. Now only your classmates, you know, you know every single face here. In future, you're going to be speaking to people that you don't even know their faces and it's times a hundred sides of this. You will have that chance one day where you will speak to the public. So here is the practice, guys. Make sure you give it your all. Okay? One more time, tell the class, how are Gabions going to protect the coast from erosion? It absorbs the energy from destructive waves. So the energy will erode the Okay. Last person heard it? Okay. Is it suitable if I were to place it at second life? I want everyone to visualize up. Uh, imagine all your gabions now being stacked along the entire coast. Think to yourself, is this suitable or not? Okay, come, let's hear it from the group. Uh, they do have preventing coastal erosion, but they are not perfect. Why are they not perfect? Because they have a short lifespan, lasting only less than 15 years. Okay, you all hear that? Yeah. What is it? What do you hear? Short lifespan. This lifespan can only last for 15 years. Now besides the problem that it's a short lifespan, would you say that in this 15 years it is able to prevent destructive waves for this coastline? The group yes or no? It's a good decision. Can it protect it from coastal erosion? Remember, your answer for the purpose uh, is to absorb the energy of the waves. So do you think that will be effective for this island? 
How many of you say yes? Okay. <laughs> this group are so cute. Now, they think that it is possible to prevent erosion for this whole slide. Okay? But the problem is it is a short lifespan. I'm gonna ask you, is this strategy expensive? No. Uh. Do you think it looks good if I place all of my gambions stacking up one on top of another? Does it look good? It doesn't look good. Why does it not look good? It is no longer natural, it spoils the natural beauty. Okay? So this is your strategy of gambions. The good side to it and all the problems to it as well. Can you thank this group? Okay, um, people, every group that comes up here is getting better in terms of your points. Please prepare next time. Okay? Next, do you recognize this? Who's group? Seawall. Who is going to seawall? Come, let's go. I want to see the coastline 
but instead of seeing the coastline as I walk down the hill, I actually see one whole slab of concrete wall. This is not what I travel long distances to come and see, right? So your seawall actually destroys the natural beauty of the place. Although there is erosion happening, but the thing about human beings is that we don't realize the rate of erosion. All we want is the natural beauty. Okay? But you see, uh, your problem of money, uh, the tsunami, and affects natural beauty, right? There are problems if I implemented it. But you should never tell me why I shouldn't implement it for this coastline. Meaning to say, I want to stop coastal erosion. Should I really build this wall here? Is it can it solve the problem of coastal erosion? Can why? Because it absorbs the energy of the waves, and the problem here is due to high energy waves, and they are called. Disruptive waves. Okay, can y'all thank this group? They are very thorough. Next group. Whose group is this? Whose group? Whose group, huh? Great waters. Um, I only see some people really writing down all the points. The rest of you, now I'm going to speak to those fellas who are always having every single lesson. But the rest of you, honestly, guys, a few more weeks to exam. Next week is your common test. Huh? Thursday, common test period is geography. Chapter 5, chapter 6. Rivers and coast combined. Then, your test is upon 16 marks. Three parts. Last question, essay question. Two small parts, last question, essay question. Understand? I'm going to write it about later. Okay, break waters, let's go. Hold on, hold on. Everyone, are you all ready to write down what the group is going to present? Yes. Okay, let's go. It is made up of? Grey Knight. Grey Knight. Are we all familiar with that? Yes. Okay. Uh, is parallel to the coast. Okay, I need all of you to take five steps forward. Okay. Uh, is parallel to the coast and the position of the sea. Two parts to that sentence. You all hear it. First thing is parallel to the coast. Very good. Second thing is position out in the sea, meaning to say it is not attached to the land, it is positioned outside, okay, a distance away into the sea. Very good, purpose.
My question is, how does it lose energy? They say because energy is wasted. Exactly, guys. These, the energy of the waves are, people, it's much reduced by the time it reaches the coastline because the first point of contact was your breakwater. Then your coastline is the second point of contact. Since it's your second point of contact, by the time it reaches there, there's not much energy left. Do you understand? Okay. Can you tell me for second life, the island there, do you think it's suitable if I build breakwaters out there? Yes, it is suitable. Louder, please. Um, it's suitable because as the first is facing destructive waves due to the large patch, the breakwater can just stop the destructive wave from eroding it. Um, can you all show me where should I position the breakwater? Use the mouse, please. <laughs> But by this time, are they destructive or 